So as per your description, you want to have a, a drop-down field with five options. And based on the options, you want to do the calculations. And, and uh, the payment would be with these calculated values. Okay, so um, uh, I want to show you an example according to your use case. Uh, so first of all, you, and you need to add the payment field where you need to select this option. That means the drop down. Um, one thing you have to remember for the payment, you uh, should not um, take the normal usual drop down field. Okay you have to take this payment field and and select this one select fields so if you have five options then you need to you know add the options here so i'll just do that with the three options okay no problem maybe set the values which is going to be uh, work in your calculation okay so there are three options and now you what you need to do is you want the calculations okay so for that thing you need to take this field custom payment amount not the numeric field okay okay let's uh, sorry about that uh, take this uh, field a little bit upper side okay so now what we are going to do we need to go to the advanced option and you have to set the condition okay so if the customer select the option that means payment item your drop down options if the customer select the item one then we'll do a certain calculation here for example we'll take the selected payment item and we'll um, multiply that with number 10 for example here yeah? and then what we are going to do we have to add another field okay another name it as one okay and another add another um, custom payment so name it payment amount two so here if the customer select uh, the payment item two then we'll do another calculation okay that means the payment item which is being selected will multiply that with 20 so in this way you will um, add the payment amount or you can rename it whatever you want um, uh, we can do this for the five options okay uh, that means you need to select the condition and also you have to enable the calculation uh, and uh, you can do that individually for each of the options definitely you have to um, select the conditions the condition have to match okay so here we have the payment summary and the payment as well so let's see okay here you can see the option item one is already selected as a default you can um, add another thing as well so if i select payment item two then you can see the multiplication um, has been done very much successfully if i select the payment item uh, item three item so we haven't done anything with the payment um, item three so as you can see it worked fine and then we'll do um you can select the payment method so i hope you can understand um, if you have any other confusions or queries please let me know thanks for watching